Welcome. We should re- rename this our pasty black void because we look pasty and it's a black void. Co- I'm not going to say it, man. Ins- you lobbed me. Come inside my pasty black void. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, we'll go back to our stupid rex of Corbin. I'm Randy. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for juicy content. In the pasty black void. And, uh, There's juicy content. Twitter, and subscribe. And welcome you, back. You probably want to avoid that juicy content. Probably do. Probably do. Yeah. And uh, today we're doing a movie review. We are at IFLA. No, we're not. Also known as the We're Indian in the parking garage of IFLA. Film Festival of Los Angeles. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we uh, haven't even had any drinks yet. Uh, soon. Yet. Uh, so we are doing a uh, movie review of the new Malayalam film that was at IFLA, and it's called in English Undercurrent, or in Malayalam, Corbinized. <laughs> it was so great, because right before it started, we asked the, the lady that was sitting next to us, and she just said, you know, Uluzuku. Oh, yeah, of course. And she doesn't even speak Malayalam. No, no, she just had a lot of margaritas. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, this was one of the films at IFLA this year, uh, the Malayalam film, uh, directed by and written by yeah, Chris Otami and, and starring pr- predominantly starring Pravathi Pravathi and Urvashi Urvashi. Yeah, and this is uh, our, I believe, first ever Urvashi film. Yeah. And we uh, found out quite <laughs> evident that she is like the female Mamoudi. Uh, <laughs> and and we actually, we got a chance at the screening because P- Parvathi and Crystal Tommy were there. And so we were walking out. We actually were walking out with uh, Parvati and <laughs> told her that this was the first movie of hers we had seen and we didn't really know who she was. Not her, but uh, uh, Urvashi. And she said, okay, shh, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they, Thank you they very much. They took away our press pass. That's right. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? We were slapped several um, times. But anyways, obviously this will be uh, mostly non-spoiler because I don't know for sure if it's out in India yet. Yeah. And I, it's a smaller film, obviously, as well. So it's probably not going to get a massive um, box office uh, or anything like that. But It's possible. It might yeah, not, not yeah. get distribution beyond Malayali audiences. It's possible. But, but it'll be mostly non-spoiler. If we do want to get some spoilers, we will tell you before we'd ever do that, okay? Um, but Rick, your initial... Uh, non-spoiler thoughts of uh, Undercurrent. If you get a chance to see it, especially if you can see it in theaters, go. Mm. Um, it's uh, if it's not, I, I'm still weighing the the merits of it. It's definitely certified gold. It could be platinum. Um, mm-hmm. It's just it's everything that we love in cinema. It's it's the kind of film that is story driven. It's acting driven. It's a slow burn. It's deeply personal. It's very human. It touches upon universal truths, and it's carried by two women who, every moment they're on screen, you're enjoying every second of it because there's not a moment where they're not wonderful to watch, and they do have to carry a lot of emotional oh, yeah. weight in this film. I absolutely love and want to see more movies made like this and supported. Yes. I uh, I adored this film. I think it's an absolutely fantastic piece of cinema. It's, uh, it's like the best, one of the best things since Great Indian Kitchen. Oh yeah, man! Uh, it's and, in that caliber, and um, <clears throat> it's also uh, different without giving anything away from what I thought it was going to be from the trailer. Me too. It it took little, little different, different turns. Yep. Uh, than I thought it would take. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was going to be something different than it than it than it became. Um, but it's a absolutely beautiful story, uh, and ha- kind of heartbreaking, um, <laughs> story of, uh, I'm not going to tell you really what I've, it's uh, a, yeah, it's got, we could, it's got the universal truths of everybody being broken, everybody doing things that they regret, uh, forgiveness, can you forgive, do you forgive, um, uh, it, it's it's just it's a deeply human film, very much, and we'll get into a lot here. Um, but we'll st- start with our stars here, and uh, we'll start with actually uh, the person we don't know as much. Yeah, um, we're going to talk uh, Urvashi. Urvashi. 
And if we're mispronouncing, please yeah, I, forgive I us for our ignorance. This is our, our first ever, um, it, unless I'm wrong, first ever thing. But she's a legend of Malayalam and Tamil cinema, mm. Indian cinema as mm. a whole, really. Uh, I want to see everything she's ever done. She, Parvati did as well. She carried this movie, though. I, her, her character in this movie was so intriguing to me. And she brought everything to yeah. this character. Yeah, everything that you'd want from this character, she brought emotionally, um, just acting wise, literally everything. I believed every moment. Yeah, and at moments I was like, I, I, I don't like you, and then I'm like, oh my word, I also love you. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's points where you dislike her, and then there's other points you just really care deeply about her. Yeah, she it, one well written. Uh, so really hats off well to, to is it Chris? Is his yeah, name? Chris, uh, Chris O'Tommy. Chris O'Tommy, uh, well written, but then just flawlessly acted. Uh, has her and Ramudi? Is she? They had to have done stuff together. Had to have. God, that will be a pleasure to watch. If uh... yeah, <laughs> and and that was something that uh, Parvati said when we were walking out with her. Uh, she just to get us kind of up to speed on who she is uh she said yeah Urvashi's basically our Meryl Streep yeah and I said I, mean, I see, see why it. you can see absolutely it. see why she she truly is a, I mean when you watch the performance your your thoughts when it's all over is that is about as good as any actor can do in any role yeah. I mean she's she's pretty much flawless oh yeah man <laughs> like it's just watching it, it's like that you were watching a master class. Yeah. On every, acting. Every every line is coming from it looks like every line is coming not from a memorized script, but from a fresh thought. Yeah. Uh, a, a real emotional experience in the moment. It's it's every, it truly it's if it's one of those things I'd say if you want to see what it's like to watch an actor just be a human being and you believe every moment they're on screen, just watch her performance. Yeah. And it's not like um you know when Daniel Day Lewis disappears into a character, because um, obviously that's no. a, that's a whole different style of acting, um, not different style of acting, but different characters kind of stuff. But this is like watching a real person, like watching Bill the Butcher. You're like, oh, that's a cool character. I love right. that character. Right. Yeah, he could be real sure. But this is like, I'm pretty sure I know somebody like right. this. Right. Right. And you are playing him like better than anybody I've ever seen. A very real, fully. Fleshed out. Fleshed out human being. Um, so That's I, as good as it gets. Yeah. No, obviously, and her performance was great, and I thought her and uh, Pravathi had good uh, chemistry or, oh, yeah. or whatever, uh, back and forth, on screen a lot. Um, and her and everybody else did as well. But uh, she, she, I don't want to say stole the show, because Pravathi also did an amazing job. Um, but she she was the highlight of the film for, for, for me. <laughs> As well as Parvathi. Yeah, uh, <laughs> taking taking nothing away, as much as we're singing the praises of the legend, um, and I think Parvathi would be the first no, she, one to sing along with us. Yeah. Um, this is, so, to tell you how good of an actress that um, Parvathi is, when you're opposite someone as good as Urvashi, only two things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Either... She will draw out the best in you, and you're going to rise to the occasion, and it's going to be a beautiful thing to watch the two of you dance. Or she's going to so overshadow you that you are going to wilt and go away, and we probably won't even remember your performance. Yeah. <laughs> and the former yes. is is without question part of it. The, watching them dance, watching them work together, uh, it's the reason I could go back. I could right now watch it all over again. It's a slow burn. Mm -hmm. It's if you're, um, if you're not into <laughs> elevative artistry, you won't like it. Yeah, but, but if, it's <laughs> it's Malayalam, so it's, yeah, exactly. I think most of, they know their audience, and most of Malayalam and audience. Thank heaven, man. Love these style of oh, films. Thank you, thank you. Um, and it's it's an it's an original story. Um, like I said, it went in a different direction than I thought. Yeah. But shout out to the writing and the directing. Yeah, Christo Tommy, who I believe this is his feature debut. Yeah, which is insane. I incredible. Because it's so well-rounded in terms of the the writing of the characters. Right. Everybody's fleshed out. You know everybody's why. You see everybody's point of view, really. Yeah. At 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 some point yeah. in the movie, yeah. you're like, oh, I understand where you're coming from for yeah. the most part. Um. And really encouraging for me, 
of the past two films we've seen is not just the quality of the films that we've seen artistically being kill and undercurrent, but seeing producers that a lot of people would be surprised to see are producing these kinds of films. And it makes me really happy to see one of the producers for kill was Karen Johar. And one of the producers for undercurrent is Ronnie Scruvala. Oh, nice. Yeah. It just, it's thrilling. And now we need that kind of, weight and notoriety to not just help in the making of the films, but be part of the process of helping people believe in distribution, because sadly, distribution for film festivals, movies is is really, really difficult. And it shouldn't be because these are the kinds of films that should get like when films go to Cannes. I mean, if you do well at those film festivals, you get distribution. That's not happening with Indian cinema yet, and it, it really needs to become more and more I'm a reality. We're going to get to see that film that almost won can. I know. I, I I don't know why that didn't come here. I know. Um, but I I am very encouraged by uh, if this is our second time at Ifla, first time was last year. Their selection of movies is incredible. Has been we have not seen it a bad one impeccable. Yet. They've been either gold or platinum. They've been they're, they're just. Outside of uh, Kulfia, but I didn't know if that was just because Vishal was going. Mm -hmm. um, so right. Maybe they do. Like, right. Well, you're coming, so we should probably have your film here. Sure. Um, that was probably the weakest one. Yeah, uh, at, for sure. At, at the entire for festival sure. that we've seen. Yeah. Everything else has been like Incredible. insanely so, high level. Some of the best of the year. Yeah. Fil films I'm going to remember, Things I, films I want to see with, with other people. I, I just, and this one is one that leaves a lasting, lasting impact. And it's, it's just the, the only way I can say it, and it seems underwhelming to say this, but I mean it in the most con congratulatory and exemplary way, it's just a human film. Mm -hmm. It's as human a film and everything that you want in, this, in cinematic storytelling, where you're believing these people are going through what seems to be, you know, it's a, it's a small place. And it's people having uh, problems that on the surface at first can seem small, but they're huge. They're they're everything that life's about. Yeah. It's just significant. And there's certain scenes in this that I think are absolutely brilliantly <laughs> so done. Well written. Well, uh, yeah, acted, <laughs> written. And then also I feel like, I mean, I would love to talk to the director, but um, I felt like he tried to get out of the way of the actors a lot. Very much. And he let them carry it very much he wasn't trying to do too much uh which for your feature debut is probably a, a good decision well um that's that shows he's also a very wise man because when you have these two ladies mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> if you have any sense about yourself you're just going to get out of the way yeah and i wanted to ask him we tried to get a conversation with him but he was as you could expect he was just inundated and we didn't want to jump in and be another part of the inundation plus we wouldn't have been able to really have time to say anything but yeah. i would love to know uh, part of it they had said in the q a afterwards that this was filmed in sequence yeah well, fantastic and i would like That's to know a blessing as an actor. I, I, my suspicion is that doesn't happen just because that had intentionality and that is such a huge blessing for something for like the actors that has to the, the story has to build it really helps the actors yeah. so much um as opposed to starting with the, yeah. the end of the film <laughs> Like, uh, which could be incredibly emotional. Like, like what poor happened in Tick Tick Boom. You know that story? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you don't know what happened in Tick Tick Boom, just say the the climactic part of the film that is the most emotionally charged and means the most. <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda did it as the very first day of filming for Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord! Uh, I don't know why he would do that? It was permits. It was Central Park. Yeah, that was it. Um. Uh, Anyways, but yeah, if you if you oh, haven't seen this film, please do. Please go watch it. It's a it's a it's wonderful. I'm we're, we're tonight we're seeing the new uh, VJ uh, Anurag. Yeah, um, actor, Maharaj Maharaj. Yeah, uh, or something like that. Um, which is I think going to be a very different kind of film. But I suspect violent. it's going to be great. I hear I've already heard great things just because it's already that yeah. one's already out in India, right? Um, and so uh, I'm I'm looking forward to. And then there's another one, Dear. Jassy that we're going to watch with mm. a screener for. Yeah. As long as the screener works. But if you get a chance, whether it's in theaters, hopefully you can see it in theaters and give it box office love. But at the very least, hopefully you can find it somewhere on OTT because it's this is a, a truly beautiful movie. Yes. Please uh, go watch it. If you've seen it, please let us know what you think about it without spoilers in the comments below. And anything else we need to know down below.